Governor Nasir El Rufai attends his son's graduation in London. Hello everyone, you welcome to the news. His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Katrina State, Dr. Nasir El Rufai attended his son's graduation in London. According to the pictures that were posted on social media, the governor was seen alongside his beautiful wife and children. It was gathered that his son Ahmed has just completed his four years degree program in a UK university. Speaking earlier today, Mr. Nasir called on the graduates to make good use of his knowledge towards providing good development to the poor and less privileged. He also solicited with the general public to include him in, in prayers. However, I want to use this opportunity to congratulate him and also wish him success in his future endeavors. So this is the um, governor, the first family of Cardinal State, celebrating um, one of the children, the son who is graduating from a UK university. As you know, right now in Nigeria, Kaduna is one of the states. In fact, it's the most heat state in terms of the insurgency that we are having. Um, right now, universities in Nigeria are on strike. They've been in about three or four months strike presently, with the demands not yet to be met by the presidency. Students of Kaduna universities and institutions have suffered from these insurgents. We have a couple of them who are actually in captivity after the adoption from the Kaduna Abuja train incidents that happened. Now, all our political parties, I mean, our political leaders, pride themselves in having their children school abroad while they care less about having their own children school in Nigeria. Before now, our universities was a pride where, you know, people from other countries will come to study. But now, the opposite is the case. We export our children to study abroad. We spend money in foreign currency to keep them in schools while the children of the common man struggles to go through school. In some instances, a lot of children, over 10 million children are out of school in Nigeria currently. And our leaders do not deem it fit to plunge, you know, the resources and focus on how to revive our educational sector. All they clear, care about is to give their own children high class and quality education in universities abroad. What is the hope of the common man's children? And the children that we refused to take care of years ago and now the ones causing havoc in our society. This brings tears to the eyes that once again, we don't know how we got here with the kind of political leaders we've had since the existence of democracy or the existence of the entity called Nigeria. Let's pray for Nigeria and we hope things will work well. God bless Nigeria. Thank you so much for watching. Please drop your comments in the comment section below. And also remember to please like, share and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next news. Bye for now.